Hey, what up guys? So today we're going to be talking about single replacement reactions. Now most single replacement reactions take form in the equation A plus BC yields AC plus B. As long as A is higher up than B on the activity series, the reaction will proceed. So the best way to see this is to actually do a real single replacement reaction. So over here we have 6 molar HCl as well as zinc metal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to react these two in this flask and collect the gas in this gas collection tube. So what's going on here is that the reaction proceeds inside the flask. The gas that's produced travels down this tube into this water bath, which has water as well as dish soap. Now, the reaction in the flask goes, obviously, because um, zinc is higher up than, or sorry, yes, zinc is higher up than hydrogen on the activity series. And as you can see, bubbles are produced in this reaction. So the reaction that's proceeding is zinc plus 2HCl yields zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. Therefore, you can see that solid zinc and aqueous HCl produces zinc chloride as an aqueous because of the solubility rules, as well as hydrogen gas, which, as you can see, is being bubbled through into this gas collection trough. Now, there are a few special properties about hydrogen. As you may know, oxygen is a key part in combustion reactions. Well, hydrogen actually doesn't combust as much as explode in the presence of fire or really any kind of heat. So these bubbles over here are pure hydrogen as they are collected from this um, flask. So what we're going to do is we're going to light these bubbles on fire as soon as we collect enough of them to show the reactive properties of hydrogen in heat. Now, you may be wondering what the dish soap was for in the beginning. The dish soap is to create a level of high surface tension inside the gas collection tub, therefore keeping the bubbles in line so we can light them on fire rather than having the hydrogen going straight up into the air as it's a lighter than air gas. So, if you were to ignite the hydrogen, with a candle, that would be the result. So the hydrogen reaction that proceeds is 2H2 plus O2, both in gaseous form, yields water vapor. Now this is not a single replacement reaction as you can see here, because it does not take on the form of A plus BC yields AC plus B. However, it's just there to show the reaction that proceeds when the hydrogen gas is ignited in air with the presence of oxygen. So that's your basic overview of single replacement reactions. It's easy where the name comes from. As you can see, the B is replaced with the A. As long as B is higher up on the activity series, uh, sorry, if A is higher up on the activity series than B. And might as well light the rest of these bubbles on fire since they're here anyway.